Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We are underground here in the lab area because uh, our next project has started and I've missed placing a torch. Hang on, let me just... There we go. Now things shouldn't spawn down here. So, uh, I talked about this in a previous episode, but this is where our sort of underground minecart station is going to be. And we're going to do an interesting sort of double stacked design. So we're going to have one on this level, which is going to be for my area and like the base and stuff. And then one on level 20. So we're currently on level 12. One on level 20 uh, to take us to uh, all everyone else's bases and to spawn and things like that. So um, I have gathered up a few materials. I don't know exactly what I need yet, but I've got some stuff in here and I can always craft some more stuff. And I've dug out this area, which is uh, 15 by 24 and then by 3 deep. Um, and that should be big enough to fit this station in, and it will go up five blocks from here. Um, and this station will let us have 15 or 16, I can't remember. 15, I think, different destinations. So it should be pretty good for future-proofing as well. Um, obviously, one of the first ones we're going to hook up is going to be our dome. And then we're probably going to hook up a line to our house as well, uh, so that we can make it up there if we need to. Um, so, I'm going to get started on building this, and uh, I'll keep updating you throughout the process. Um, but I'm going to be following along to a video tutorial, so I can't do much building on camera. Um, but I will also find out who the tutorial is by and obviously link it in the description and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll update you when I've made a little bit of progress on this. I will see you in a second. Okay, so I had to expand the hole a couple more blocks this way because I'd counted wrong. Um, but we have uh, this panel of lights, which is going to be the main selector panel for where we want to go. So we can have up to 15 different stations which means we can add new lines on as and when we need to, which is going to be great. Um, so this uh, station design that I'm doing is by K1 Inc. on YouTube. Obviously, I'll link the video down below um, so that if any of you guys want to build this in your worlds as well, you can do that. Uh, so all credit goes to them for the design. And yeah, so I've got the, the main panel in the right place for now. And that sort of gives you an idea of what sort of room we're working with as well to decorate. Uh, and then all the redstone is going to be sort of above, below, and behind here. Um, so yeah, I will uh, make a little bit more progress, maybe get some of the redstone in. I'm not exactly sure what we need to do next. Um, and then I'll, I'll bring you back in and update you in a second once, we, once we've done that. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so after a bit of work and lots of checking the tutorial while I was doing it, um, we have... What seems to be, at least from my very quick tests, a working uh, selector system, which is incredible. So if we come over here, um, let's say we wanted to go to station number four, whatever that is. We could click on that one and the light comes on. And if we come around the back, we see that this torch is off, which is good. Uh, if we come and pick, say, number seven, which is this one. Uh, it switches to that light, and then this torch should be back on. Yes. And then we want to go over here, and this last button over here is going to be the reset button. So we click that, all the lights turn on, and then off again. And all the lights at the back here should be on, which they are, which is good. So, um, the next bit I need to build is how this connects to the rail system, I believe. Uh, so we're going to uh, carry on getting that set up, and I'll probably bring you back in once I've done a bit more of that as well. Um, but for now we have a working system here which is really good. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we have just enough room to stack uh, two of these designs on top of each other. Um, we'll see about that, hopefully. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but it's a fairly complicated and... Uh, redstone expensive design it needs a lot of redstone torches and repeaters and stuff but we have plenty of redstone still there's some upstairs i believe there might not be i don't know i could be lying to you 
we oh, we have an extra torch in there. Let's just put some stuff away for now. Uh, we've got some repeaters and comparators. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get working on the rail system now. And I will see you in a sec once I've made some progress on that. Okay, I have done some more uh, more work on the back end of this. We've added in the rail system now. Um, so this is going to determine which lane we go on. Um, as to which uh, button we've pressed. So if we press one of these buttons, let's go with this one for station number three. Well, right. that's being annoying. And then if we come around here, we'll see that a rail has been turned uh, this one so we'll we would come across from this rail and then turn left down here um, what's really nice as well is station one lines up with our dome so we can use station one for the dome uh, and then station two three whatever for other things um, but the dome can be the first one we hook up so in fact actually we can test this right now Let's just dismantle this. Get this set back up. If we do we have we do have regular rails in here. If we do this We've got our first line already set up, um, although it's not functional yet because we'd need to uh, sort out the input and output bits, but that's very exciting. Um, so I think next order of business, I actually just, while we're here, want to place these to make sure they're equal. Um, next thing to do is going to be set up the departure side, which is going to be our left hand side here. Um, and then uh, we can set up the return side on the, the right hand side and then it'll just be beautifying it all. That's all we'll have to do. We've got this as like a way that I was getting up and down. Um, shouldn't need that anymore either. Uh, and I think it's that is fine. Don't think we need that block. No. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna work on this departure side on the left hand side over here. And uh, then once I've done that, I will bring you in and then we can work on the return side as well. So I will see you in a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the station pretty much built here. Uh, I haven't really decorated it yet, but uh, all the workings at the back are done, all the tracks are done, I've extended one of the tracks to test it and I've hooked one up to the underwater dome, uh, the sphere. I don't know what I'm calling that yet, um, but if we come around here I can show you how this works. So what you do, uh, first off you probably want to choose where you want to go, so we'll go to uh, option number four because that's, uh, that's where I have the... Uh, quick return set up. Then you press this button, it pops out a minecart onto the thing. You can put more minecarts in the system in this chest. Then you hop in, just press this button, and we're away. So we're going to go up here, down track four. Obviously this is just going to bounce us back straight away. Uh, but then you get sent over this way, and you get kicked out of the minecart, which is then returned to the other side uh, via a cactus, and then it's ready to go. There's only one minecart in the system at the minute, but if I press that, it pops it out. You'll also see that it's automatically reset after you depart, so that means uh, you can return on the same line and still get sent over to the other side. So if I send this across without selecting anything, we can come over this way and see how this mechanism works a bit more. So the block opens up, another block pops up so that it doesn't shoot too far, and then it gets sent over to the cactus and popped up via a couple of droppers. So next order of business is going to be to decorate all of this. And we're going to start with a white concrete flooring as the base. We might do something with a pattern, I'm not really sure. Um, but we're going to put in these blocks here. 
Uh, I put a block above the cactus so that it didn't grow as well, uh, because that's not something we really want to happen. Um, but I'm going to get to doing a little bit of decoration on this, uh, including, I guess, uh, well, we, we can have... This is going to be a wall here, so we're not going to... Um, we, we can have stuff like there, and then uh, I've got some quartz stairs to put on the side of things as well, just to hide some stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we should be able to have blocks above that and it shouldn't affect it. Uh, so let's put another couple of stairs there, how about? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna um, do a little bit more decorating, make sure that we can't see anything that we don't want to see. So for example, there's gonna be um, stairs there as well, I guess. Um, and then maybe a wall here. Something like that, but I'll, I'll come up with something and I'll bring you back in once I've decorated uh, a little bit more. Um, I've also got some chains and some lanterns to hang from wherever the ceiling is to keep this place lit up because uh, we're going to use chains and lanterns in the uh, main uh, minecart tunnels, so that will match up nicely with that. Anyway, let's just double check that this uh, is still going to work even now we've got those stairs there. I just want to check it ejects me properly, basically. Oh, it does. It just ejects us to the other side. Perfect. Okay, that's absolutely ideal. Well, in that case, I'm going to get on with this, and I will see you in a second once I've got some more decoration done. Okay, so we have uh, completely decked this out in white concrete now, and also, if we come back around here, all the stuff that was all open to the air is now uh, back to being uh, not lit up again. Uh, but also is uh, completely enclosed. So uh, we've got the lines that can come out this way. Um, I guess the next thing to do is start working on a tunnel design to go around our base, possibly. Um, but yeah, we've got all of this. It should be properly lit up, I think. Uh, mobs can't spawn on spaces with like rails and stuff anyway. Uh, so we should be fine, probably. Um, but yeah, I've also uh, got a sort of two wide access tunnel here in case I need to uh, get around the back of here to adjust any of this, which I shouldn't do. This should be good to go now. Or uh, into the back of my furnaces, um, which are still working fine. They're still uh, super useful. Um, I guess I didn't finish the top of this off, huh? Okay, well, I can do that at some point as well. Uh, I have once again run out of white concrete though, but um, yeah, so I'm going to make a little more progress on stuff. I might put a few more decorations around. Uh, I've got the lighting in place, which looks pretty good, I think. Um, and yeah, I'll bring you back in once I've done that, so I'll see you in a sec. So I'm over here on the creative server, and as you can see, I've been doing a bit of testing work. This is uh, a very old version of the, the world currently. Um, at some point we'll update it again, but we've got a few build palettes that we don't want to lose at the minute. Um, so this is the design that I think I'm going to go for for my tunnels. Uh, so we're going to need, what, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 space. 7 by 6 space around our rails. Um, obviously with the rails being bottom centre. Uh, so that shouldn't be too bad to dig out. I might get a beacon in to do that, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we're going to use diorite for the background walls, polished granite for the pillars, uh, and then granite stairs to sort of outline everything. I think this combination looks pretty good together. It fits with the uh, general colour scheme of our house as well, um, and the diorite ties it a bit more into the lab setting as well because it's, they're both sort of white colours. So I'm fairly happy. Then we've got these polished slabs here, which just add that little bit extra. Um, and then, obviously, every seven blocks. Uh, there are seven blocks between them, so every eight blocks we have a lantern hanging on a chain, um, just to keep it well enough lit. So um, I'm going to hop over onto the regular server and start building this, and I'll update you, obviously, on progress, and if anything interesting happens. So I will see you in a sec.
Okay, so, uh, I have grinded it out, and we have finished building the tunnel. Um, I did make a mistake at one point. One of these, uh, sections was eight blocks long instead of seven, which threw the whole thing off. So, um, we have, uh, sorted that out up at this end. And, um, hopefully... That should be good now. It does mean that the the bit at this end looks a little bit weird. It's a little cramped. We only have two here. Um, but this is the way I think it looks best and makes it work. And then obviously you come through here to the dome. So I am really excited for how this turned out. It looks fantastic. And obviously we can expand to add more lines as they go to different places and work on things like that. But we've got a basic structure down for now, which I'm really happy with. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. We now have a very decorated uh, way of traveling to the underwater sphere. I still don't know what I'm calling that. I've got it as the underwater biosphere for now, I think. Um, but that could be subject to change in the future. If anyone has any ideas, feel free to let me know because I don't really have any ideas for it. Um, anyway. Uh, let's take a quick ride on that, and, uh, we'll figure out if there's anything else we want to do in this episode or not. Um, so let's select the underwater biosphere, let's hop into the minecart, and let's get going. Oh. We always take a teeny bit of damage there, um, and I'm not entirely sure why. But this looks good. I think we slow down on the corner slightly, maybe? I don't know. Um, because of the slabs next to us, but it looks really cool, and it takes about the same time as I'm used to it taking, so I don't know. And we've also used these chains and lanterns in the ceiling there, um, which I think look fantastic, and they're at a good height as well. Yeah, we definitely slowed down after that one, so we might need to put extra boosters around the corners, but that shouldn't be a problem. And then we have made it to the uh, the dome. There is actually something I wanted to do um, that we can do in the last bit of this episode. We need to head back to base to get all the stuff. But I'll gather up some resources and then I'll bring you back in for that. So I will see you in a sec. Okay, so we've come uh, back over here to the biodome and I have my botany box. So we have some leaves in here and we have a bit of grass as well. And I've got some bone meal and some flowers. And what I wanted to do is just make a couple of little bushes here and there. So we'll maybe make one here and pile some leaves up around that. And maybe extend it that way a little bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty cute, I think. Uh, and then maybe one over here by the lake. Um, which we can have um, here. And let's make this one, let's put one in this corner there. And I guess another extra one on top there, like this. We're going to make this one a little bit bigger, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um... Let's see if we can get some... Oh, that's looking very symmetrical. We've got Silk Touch, so we can pick leaf blocks back up with that. Let's um, let's stick with that for now. And then let's get some grass around the shore of this lake. And what we can do with grass is bone meal some of it to make it too high. Um, let's get some more around this bit. And get some more of it to go... Higher, and then we'll put the rest in here. And let's pick a couple of these pieces to bone meal. And then we can also just bone meal the area around. Uh, maybe knock out the tall bits of grass and some of the other grass. Um, but just get some grass and flowers in here. And just really pretty up the place. Let's also put some alliums down as well. We'll put one over there, and suddenly this is going to start to look a lot, uh, a lot comfier, 
and nice we'll have one by that tree and then maybe one over in this area here uh, let's break a few of these pieces of grass as well just so there aren't too many um, but yeah that already looks a lot more alive the next challenge for this place is going to be lighting uh, I think I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with regards to lighting this place yet um, we could always hide some underneath the uh, bush here and over there um, but then maybe we could hang some lanterns from some trees let's have a look what that looks like actually let's see what happens if we put a lantern hanging from a tree because I think that could look quite cute okay uh, yeah let's try that on some more places as well we'll put one there we can't hang it directly from leaf blocks that's annoying because none of the other trees are really tall enough okay we will scrap that idea but I'll think of something uh, in the meantime and that can be part of our next project is working on the lighting for this area but for now that's going to be it thank you everyone for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next episode bye bye